Whew. Hi everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. It's something like 35 out here right now and it's snowing. So I don't know if I'm going to have to probably come out here and uh, cover the garden I guess. I don't know if, how much it's supposed to snow today. I know it's supposed to be off and on for a few days. But I don't know what to do. You know, I, I probably need to cover this stuff, I guess. Well, this has covered itself somehow. Huh. Uh, it was real windy yesterday. Everything looks okay, and the temperature is, you know, above freezing, but I don't know if the snow landing on everything will, you know, uh, mess it up. There's a train. I'll tell you what, while we're here in the train, I'll go in here. That was me. The wind must have knocked over this. Well, I heard the train. Well, I'm gonna go out here and cover this, I believe. Or I need to ask somebody if, I don't know if it's supposed to snow all day long or, hmm. I believe I am going to cover them because uh, I think it's the temperature is supposed to drop by lunchtime down to 30 if, if they haven't changed the uh, the weather report. That's what I was looking at last night. So the temperature is dropping. It was like 50 some yesterday. So I'm, I'm going to I'll let you all look at the snow while I go out here and cover this stuff.
Oh, Lord, it is getting cold. I'll show you what it looks like now. They got it all covered up. So they won't let all that snow on them. And if it gets colder, that snow will turn, you know, like ice on it. So I'm going to go in now. Oh. I'm going to pause it and I'll be in there and I'll set up for story time. Wow, it's, it, it is getting colder out there. I'm glad I covered everything up because I don't want it. It should get warm again, you know, for quite a while. Uh, well, I don't know. It started in, it starts in December getting, getting colder. So I, I'm just trying to stretch it out as long as I can to get those turnips and beets a little bit bigger. I saw a few of them. They looked like they were about maybe like that. So, just trying to prolong it as long as I can. Hopefully, it won't kill anything. Okay, what's for dinner? We got these over at Walmart the other day. Of course, it says great value. And it's pasta shell stuffed with ricotta, parmesan, and romano cheeses topped with a rich meat sauce. I love stuffed shells. Well, we all do. And, uh, but I've never got them from Walmart before, so we'll see. I've made them before, and they turned out really good, but I've never got one from Walmart like this. I don't think I've ever bought any entree like that before anyway, but we'll see how it is. Hopefully, it'll be good. I probably, they'll have some salad with it. I can't eat salad, and then uh, we got some garlic, Texas toast, garlic bread or whatever. I think we got three pieces left of that, and we'll have that. So that'll be good tonight. Okay, um, let's see. I'll do. I've got some show and tell, and then I've got the uh, today's story. So let's do the show and tell. I don't like that there's a glare lots of times on this though. Um, this is a three cent three cent piece. I don't know if I can tell the date on it or not. It's not, I don't have enough light. 1865. Has three, like the uh, Greek numeral three. And then. I hate the glare on this. I'm gonna have to figure out something about that if I'm gonna show these. You can't tell real good on that one. It's not it's not in the best shape either. I just thought it was a curious thing. What is this? Oh, I've showed one of these two before, but that's another one. That's a different this is an uncirculated American Eagle. One ounce of silver. And then this is a presidential dollar series, commemorative dollars. It looks like that the package does. This has got John F. Kennedy is the one on this one. President uh, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. what it looks like in the whole thing. And then the back of them has Liberty. It's got a little story there and everything. And then I got one more. I always put everything back in the packaging. And then stuff and then this one comes like this just in a plain brown yeah. I guess I've opened this one before well, let's see here here it is this is the 2008 
Denver and Philadelphia uh, United States Mint uncirculated coin set. That's what they look like. They're a little fancier when you get up to like the proof ones or something like that or the other ones. But here, this will be the whole, everything they made in 2008 uncirculated. And these come from the mint. You can buy them straight from the men online or, you know, through a company, through a coin company or something. They're very nice. Uncirculated means, you know, it's never touched human hands. It's, it's not been in circulation. And this is the Philadelphia of it. Let's see, is that the same thing? Probably is. Yeah, okay. This is the Philadelphia Mint version. They look the same, except for where they were made. Those are heavy. And of course, the older, older ones are way more expensive than newer ones. And that's it for show and tell today. Okay. Story time. This is, I'm figuring about 1975. Man, I'm missing more of my pens. Oh, this is the one I'm looking for. In case I need to write something down. 1975, that would put me at about 15 years old. A friend, my best friend and I went to, decided to uh, go to a wrestling match they were having at this place close enough to where we could walk to it. I mean, it was where the Civic Center or whatever it was, you know, maybe it was in a, a school building. I don't really remember that. I just remember walking to it. And uh, it seemed like it might have been a school. And the ones we wanted to see was, if y'all have watched wrestling, if some of y'all have watched wrestling a long time, maybe, uh, you might remember these guys. Moondog Spot and Moondog Rex. They were, I don't think, they weren't brothers, I don't think, or anything, but they were like caveman type, you know, and they carried around these big old bones. I guess it was like a cow bone or something, a leg bone or something. Rather. And they would, they would be like gnawing on them, you know, hitting. And then they would, you know, they always had, they had like a, a leather strap on it, on the bones, and they would put it over the, the ring post, you know, on their side. And then, you know, if they'd get in trouble, they'd reach over there, ah, grab the bone, crack the guy over the head, you know. And then they'd win the match, you know, by cheating. But the referee would never see it, of course. So these guys, you know, we, we liked them and we knew they were on the card. So we wanted to go bad. So we, we bought our tickets and everything and went. And our seats were horrible. I mean, we were like, dang, you know, we can't see him too good. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> we saw that there were some empty seats front row. So my friend was like, let's go down there. I mean, nobody's sitting there. They don't, you know, nobody's going to know. I'm like, no, nah, that ain't our seats, you know. And so when it went on and there had been a few matches, when it got to be our match that we wanted to see these guys, I was like, well, nobody ever did sit in them seats. I mean. I guess they never sold the tickets for front row or whatever for all of them. So we just went on down there. You know, <laughs> everything was going smooth. They started wrestling, you know, beating each other up, beating everybody up. Uh, my stupid friend, he gets all excited and he throws my coat in the ring. <laughs> and I didn't want to lose my coat. It was cold outside. It was winter. And I wasn't, you know, it's going to have somebody like one of them grab it and throw it into the audience or something, or, or maybe the referee throw it over to the side and I end up losing my coat. So I jump up in there. <laughs> I jump up in the ring. I grab my coat, you know, and, and sit back down. Well, here comes, here comes security now, you know, and I'm over there like, oh, look what you've done now. <laughs> you stupid idiot. We had front row seats. Here they come. They come over there, uh, you know you're not supposed to be throwing stuff in the ring. I said, yeah, I didn't do it, buddy. That's my coat, but, you know, I had to get it. And 
He goes, well, you, you're not allowed up in there. You could get hurt or something. And he said, let, let me see your tickets, your ticket stuff. I, I was just on in. I was like, okay, here. And y'all are supposed to be sitting way up there. You know, and uh, since you caused a disturbance, y'all are just going to have to leave. Uh, you interrupted the show, this and that. I said, I, he said, I don't care if it was you or your buddy or it was both of you. You know, he said, I don't care if he did it or nothing. He said, both of you, you're all together. You're sitting in the wrong seats. My buddy's over there like, oh, we're just having fun. We didn't do nothing, you know. So we, they escorted us out. You know, we didn't get to finish watching the match we went for. And actually, I'm outside. I'm like, dude, what is wrong with you, you idiot? He's like, well, I was just having fun. And I said, man, you don't throw somebody's coat in the ring. I said, I ought to stomp you right now. I mean, I was mad. And uh, I forget if I, I think I made him give me my money back or something. I mean, I, th I think, you know, I, I, was, I was mad enough to fight, especially after being in a wrestling match. I mean, in a rest, watching wrestling. And, you know, I think I had to, I think he had to give, I made him give me the money back that I paid for them tickets. I really do. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I know that's what happened now that I'm thinking about it. You know, so he thought he was being funny. You know, just another another instance of horseplay that come that ends up being no, something not good happens from it. Or somebody gets hurt. I could have even got hurt. Uh, you know, they could have thought I was part of it somehow or, I don't know, stomp me. But, you know, we were pretty young, so they knew I wasn't part of it, but I'm just kidding around. But uh, you just don't know. I could have got hurt jumping in there. One could have fallen on me or something, you know, because they were running around doing what you see wrestlers do in matches. And uh, so I was really, you know, I was really, really mad and disappointed. You know, I thought I was like, I was like, I, I want to stay. You know, they're like, no, y'all just need to, we don't know if y'all do this again or what. So I was like, okay. But that's just the way it goes. And I've had other instances where friends have got me in trouble doing stupid stuff before. I'll try to remember some of them. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's the story for today. I got one more for tomorrow, and then I'm going to have to try to think. <laughs> Usually they'll just come to me when I'm, uh, you know, talking about something else. I know one right now when he, <laughs> let me write it down. That'll be Wednesdays. <laughs> this is the same guy, uh, Wednesday. <laughs> that I, I, I should have known better. This might have happened before the wrestling thing because I trusted him that everything was going to be okay. Uh Okay. I don't know if I spelt one thing right. I'll have to check it. So that'll be Wednesday's story. So I got one more just thinking about something else. <laughs> it, you know, these are from pretty young, when I was pretty young, most of them. Maybe early teens, you know, 13 to 15. Because when we moved down here, I remember getting my driver's license here. There she is. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Hi. I remember getting my license here, going for the test and everything. I remember being scared to death with that, too. But I passed. So, I guess that's going to be it for today. I've run out of things to say for now, I believe. That's unusual. I know y'all are probably thinking, ha, oh, you? <laughs> uh... I don't know what's going to happen. They, I think they said one to five inches. I'm hoping it's on the low end. So. Uh, it's had some crazy weather already this year. It's just, you don't know what it's going to do. I hope we don't have a bad, bad winter, though. At least I've got a good battery now. That's for sure. It'll start. We're supposed to go out today. We're not going to get, I don't think we're going to do anything as far as uh, we're not going to go to Aldi, I don't think. They'd be they'd be so busy. Anytime it starts snowing just a little bit, man, the stores are just packed. But I think we got to go get Logan's. 
one of Logan's prescriptions or something. If it's something that he can, that he's still got a few of, we might have to wait if it gets bad. But it wasn't snowing. As y'all seen, it was kind of light. But then, but if it starts getting a lot heavier, we'll probably have to wait, maybe. So, everybody, I hope you like today's coffee break, morning coffee break, and, and story time, and show and tell. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that... So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day. And I don't know what I'll do today. But you know I'll come up with something. Bye everybody. God bless.